Time to go over some of the instruments used in Jerry Meyer's lab. The Carry 50 and the Carry 60 are your average UV vis spectrometers that measure molecules absorption spectra. We can couple these with potentiostats to do similar spectroelectrochemical reactions similar to that of the pine. Welcome to where all the magic happens, the wet lab. Everyone has been assigned their own hood and a disc, which helps them perform more efficiently and diligently. This is where most of our synthesis steps are performed and where some of our chemicals are stored. By now, it is expected to have basic knowledge in the wet lab, so I'll turn up the music and let you vibe to some of the visuals. This here is a fairly custom spectroscopy apparatus. This electroabsorption spectrometer allows us to measure changes in the molecule's absorption spectrum in an applied electric field. This allows us to determine fundamental values such as the change in dipole or change in polarizability associated with an electronic transition. This can provide us with valuable information about the directionality and extent of charge transfer in various systems. The classes of molecules we predominantly study in our lab are strongly colored, thus absorbing significant amount of light in the visible region to generate molecules in an excited state. These excited state molecules may then emit light to relax down to the ground state through a process referred to as photoluminescence. The fluorolog allows us to excite molecules in solution or immobilize on the surface at a particular wavelength and quantify the resulting photoluminescence intensity across the entire visible spectrum. This is a spectroelectrochemical system which allows us to measure how absorption spectra changes in response to redox changes as well as strong electric fields if they are anchored molecules. This is a standard nanosecond transient absorption apparatus. This allows us to see how species change after light excitation and from time resolution. This also includes spectral modeling and identifying how the states involved evolves over a short time window. This is invaluable for measuring different electron transfer mechanisms induced by light. The INSPIRE is the newest spectrometer in the UNC Chemistry Department. Part of the Center for Hybrid Approaches in Solar Energy to Liquid Fuels, the INSPIRE is a time-resolved infrared spectrometer. In short, the instrument allows a researcher to monitor the infrared spectra of excited states and reaction intermediates as a function of time. This allows scientists at UNC to study reaction mechanisms in important solar fuel forming reactions. The information gained from these techniques allow researchers in CHASE to design more efficient photocatalysts for the production of solar fuels to decrease our reliance on fossil fuel deposits. STRIVE is an acronym for Sequential Time Resolve Current Voltage Experiment and is an apparatus designed to measure charge density, charge transport, and recombination in dye-sensitized solar cells from 0.1 to 10 sun illuminations. The STRIVE monitors electrical signals and is capable of measuring the voltage and current simultaneously with microsecond time resolution. 